In the embrace of the Adriatic Sea, Dubrovnik stands as a testament to human artistry and resilience. Ancient stone walls, echoing tales of empires, sieges, and unyielding beauty, encircle a city that's often dubbed the Pearl of the Adriatic. But how does one navigate this maze of history and charm in a mere two days? The choices seem endless between the narrow alleys, the majestic fortresses, and the rhythmic symphony of waves against cliffs. Fear not, for with town travel tips, you're about to embark on a journey that captures the very essence of this Croatian gem. And if you like our explorations, remember to show your support by clicking on the like button and subscribing to the channel. Within the embrace of Dubrovnik's storied city walls lies the heart of its charm, the Old Town. Staying here or close by, you'll find yourself transported back in time, waking up to the whispers of tales long past. And as for the art of exploration, lace up your walking shoes. The city unveils its secrets best when explored on foot. For those gems perched high or nestled a bit away from the center, local buses and cable cars are ready to whisk you to breathtaking vistas. In Dubrovnik, every journey promises a visual and emotional feast, no matter how short. Day 1 Dubrovnik stirs in a gentle ballet of light and shadow as dawn breaks. Begin your day the Croatian way, at a local patisserie. The fresh, crafty aroma, a delicious Croatian donut, invites you in. Paired with a robust coffee, it's the perfect prologue to a day of discovery. City Walls Walk With a satisfying breakfast behind you, it's time to delve into Dubrovnik's rich history. And what better way to do so than a journey atop its iconic city walls? These walls, stretching over two kilometers and standing proud since the Middle Ages, have safeguarded Dubrovnik through centuries of turbulence and triumph. Before embarking, ensure you have your entry ticket, available at multiple entrances around the Old Town. It's a bit pricey, around $40, but it's absolutely worth it. As you traverse these ramparts, strategically placed viewpoints offer breathtaking panoramas. To one side, the city's terracotta rooftops and bustling squares. To the other, the vast, mesmerizing Adriatic. Take your time. Pause at the fortresses like the Minsita Tower, which offers an unparalleled vista of the old town, and the Bokar Fortress, where the sea views are truly spellbinding. Each step on these walls is a walk through time, a testament to the city's resilience and architectural prowess. The city's iconic walls aren't just a testament to its past, they've also starred in television. Game of Thrones fans will instantly recognize these walls as the protective barrier around King's Landing, the series' political epicenter. As you traverse the ancient ramparts, you'll walk in the footsteps of fictional royalty, schemers, and warriors. Stradun, Main Street. Descending from the walls, you'll find yourself drawn to the heartbeat of Dubrovnik, Stradun. This limestone-paved pedestrian thoroughfare, flanked by historic buildings, is a microcosm of the city's daily life. As you meander, the harmonious blend of Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque architecture narrates tales from past eras. The chatter of locals, the melodic tunes of street musicians, and perhaps a spontaneous dance or performance breathe life into these ancient stones. Gundulic Square By now, the aroma of freshly cooked meals will likely lead you to Gundulic Square. A hub of daily activities, this square transforms into a vibrant market every morning. After browsing stalls laden with fresh produce, cheeses, and olives, settle down at a nearby eatery. Here, under the shade of old buildings, relish a meal that captures the essence of the Dalmatian coast. Whether freshly caught seafood or a traditional pekka, your palate is in for a treat. As the golden rays of the afternoon give way to the softer, warm glow of the evening, there's one more iconic spot that beckons, Fort Lavrianac. Often referred to as Dubrovnik's Gibraltar, this detached fortress majestically rises on a 37-meter-high cliff. For Game of Thrones fans, it's another trip down memory lane as the fort served as a key location in the series. But whether you're a fan or not, the vistas from here are universally enchanting. As the sun takes its final bow, casting the sky in vibrant oranges and deep pinks, the silhouette of Dubrovnik's skyline against this fiery backdrop will etch itself in your memory. With the city now bathed in the soft hues of twilight, the allure of Dubrovnik's hidden gems grows even stronger.
Venture off the beaten path and let your intuition guide you through its labyrinthine streets. The soft glow from lanterns in a secluded alley might lead you to a quaint eatery where the scent of freshly prepared Dalmatian dishes wafts through the air. Settle down, let the ambiance envelop you, and lose yourself in the region's flavors. From seafood delicacies to hearty meat dishes, every bite is a tribute to Dubrovnik's rich culinary heritage. As you conclude your meal, take a moment to reflect. Day one in Dubrovnik has blended history, cinematic magic, and gastronomic delights. You can rest up with the city's melodies as your lullaby, for day two promises even more adventures. Day two. Imagine starting your day with the soft murmur of the Adriatic waves playing in your ears. In Dubrovnik, this dream becomes reality at one of the city's many seaside cafes. Choose a spot where the sea stretches endlessly before you, its surface shimmering with the morning sun. As you settle down, the aroma of freshly baked bread fills the air. Bite into local pastries, perhaps a pogacha or rosata, and spread them with homemade jams bursting with the flavors of Croatian fruits. Each sip of your coffee is accentuated by the salty breeze, and as you look out to the horizon, it's as if the sea and sky whisper tales of adventures yet to come. This isn't just breakfast. It's an Adriatic embrace that sets the tone for your day. Lokram Island As the city wakes up, take a brief escape to a nearby haven, Lokram Island. A mere 15-minute boat ride transports you from the historic streets of Dubrovnik to an oasis of tranquility and natural beauty. Legend has it that Lokram is where Richard the Lionheart was cast ashore after being shipwrecked in the 12th century. Today, the island invites you with its lush botanical gardens where exotic plants from all over the world flourish. But Lokram's magic doesn't end with its flora. Wander the pathways to discover the ruins of a Benedictine monastery, whispering tales of monks and mysteries. As you explore, you might come across the island's unique inhabitants, peacocks strutting around with their majestic plumes. When the Croatian sun reaches its zenith, seek respite by the island's Dead Sea, a unique saltwater lake. The lake's still waters mirror the surrounding greenery, and taking a dip here is both refreshing and therapeutic. As you float, the sounds of the city seem miles away, replaced by the harmonious songs of birds and the rustling of leaves. By the time you prepare to head back to the mainland, Lokram will have etched itself in your heart, a green gem in the azure Adriatic. Rector's Palace and Cultural Exploration As you disembark from Lokram and set foot on Dubrovnik's cobbled streets, the city beckons you to uncover more of its historical treasures. A stone's throw away lies the Rector's Palace, a stunning blend of Gothic and Renaissance architecture. Once the seat of the Rector of the Republic of Ragusa, the palace stands as a testament to Dubrovnik's rich political and cultural heritage. Push open its grand doors and step into a bygone era. Portraits of ancient rulers, intricate coin collections, and artifacts narrate tales of power, diplomacy, and artistry. Each room and corner holds a story waiting to be discovered. With a morning full of exploration, your appetite will be calling. Head towards Pile Gate, the grand entrance to the old town. The area around the gate is a hub of culinary delights. Nestled under the shade of ancient trees and the city walls, local eateries beckon. Whether it's a plate of chevapi or a fresh seafood salad, the flavors promise to rejuvenate you for the adventures ahead. Cable Car to Mount Syred. As afternoon transitions into the evening, Dubrovnik has one more spectacle. The city, viewed from the skies, is a sight that remains etched in memories forever. The cable car station, a short walk from the old town, is your gateway to this experience. As you ascend to Mount Sard, the city shrinks below its walls, towers, and terracotta rooftops creating a mesmerizing mosaic against the azure Adriatic. At the summit, let the hues of the setting sun wash over you. The golden glow, the cool breeze, and the city shimmering in the twilight is a moment of pure magic. As night blankets Dubrovnik, head to the city's old port. The gentle sway of boats, the reflection of lantern lights on the water, and the distant melodies from the town set the ambiance. The port's restaurants offer the freshest catches of the day. As you dine, with the sea's scent in the air and a glass of local wine in hand, 
the essence of Dubrovnik surrounds you. Your two days in Dubrovnik might have felt like a whirlwind romance with the Adriatic Jewel. But in every corner explored, every wave heard, and every sunset witnessed, Dubrovnik has shared a fragment of its soul with you. As you bid this city adieu, carry with you not just memories but stories, emotions, and a silent promise to return.